Hi, I'm Dory, and this is the fourth and final piece in a series I've been posting on my channel of a commission project I was asked to do by a very, very nice lady. And just in case you haven't seen parts one, two, and three, I will have them linked down in the description box down below. Um, and But like I've said in a few times in this series already, this was one of the most fun projects I've ever been asked to do. I really, really, really enjoyed this commission, and um, I'm really proud of how all of it turned out, and the lady that I worked with was incredibly awesome and just, just a joy to work with. Um, I do hope to work with her more again in the future. She was just fantastic in every possible way, and her ideas were cohesive and exciting and, and adorable and inspiring, and I just, I loved bringing them life, and, I, you know, it's it's not often that you get a commission uh, relationship in that, that is that good. So, um, I really enjoyed doing this. Uh, if you haven't seen parts one, two, and three, I'll kind of try to explain what this project was. Um... The lady that I that asked me to do these this project, she was purchasing these artworks for a friend of hers. She asked for four uh, distinct, unique canvas uh, drawing slash paintings of uh, kitty cats, and these are for a friend. And the friend happened to own four kitty cats, all of whom have very special and unique, distinctive names. Um, and she wanted, the basic concept of the art was for me to take the name of the animal and create a portrait of that animal that mimicked the environment of the fandom from which the name came. So, <laughs> um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Kitty Cat was, paint, was painted as Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, and Spock the kitty cat was painted as Spock from Star Trek. Uh, Ares the god of war kitty cat was painted as the god of war with full armor and a helmet and a sword ready for battle. Um, all of them have been very very fun. I've really enjoyed doing this and I did try to pay very special attention to the markings on each of the cats because like I said this is a portrait. So I did try to mimic the uh, characteristics of each of cats. So the lady that was receiving these artworks as a gift, she would be able to look at them and say, oh my gosh, that cat is Buffy, that cat is Spock. And you know, it would be instantly recognizable. And I can say that at this point, she has received the artwork. She absolutely loves it. She was able to recognize her cats in the drawings and she hung them up immediately. <laughs> so I will have pictures of the artwork hanging on the wall. Um, that will be in my Instagram. Uh, you can take a look um, at my Instagram account. It's um, going to be linked in the description box down below as well. Um, but yeah, just in case you're interested in seeing how they all kind of went together. I did try to pay special attention to the color palettes and the line work and everything that I was using in each picture um, so that they would cohesively go together as a set because I did want them to look like they went together, like they were from the kind of same kind of family um, artistically. So they do look really cool hung up on the wall uh, together and I'm excited about that. <laughs> um, the kitty cat I am drawing today is Apollo and he is the sun god and I think he is a absolutely beautiful little kitty. I had so much fun with this. I really did and I told the lady that asked me to do this project, I told her that I thought the concept was so cool and so much fun that I actually kind of wanted to try doing this more uh, to kind of extend um, or kind of push my style out a little bit more into including this kind of concept a little bit more often. Like, um, I do think I'm going to be drawing portraits of my dogs <laughs> in this particular way. Um, doing, you know, dressed up in, you know, probably the Penny is probably going to be dressed as like a queen, um, a royal, you know, for an, an old style English Victorian style queen. Um, <laughs> and Tucker. I don't know. <laughs> uh, he, you know, he, he could do anything. Probably a truck driver or something. I don't know. I'll come up with something that suits his little personality and it'll be cute. Um, but yeah, I think they're 
both super, super adorable, and I'm excited about drawing them in that style, and I think I might do more people's pets in this particular style. I don't, um, I do, I did enjoy having um, this kind of expansive uh, experience as far as my drawing style is concerned, because I have been working on kind of developing a uh, illustrative style for my, uh, for people, and, and even though I have drawn cats in, in a kind of human, humanistic way before, I hadn't drawn them, like, a lot, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so, and I didn't, I didn't really enjoy this. I think I, before this I had drawn one kitty cat as an avatar and an otter as an avatar for someone before, and that was kind of it. So I'm really enjoying this. I think it, you know, I might expand to include more animals um, and keep it in this cartoony style. Like I don't necessarily want to expand it into like the furry zone or anything like that, but it's, I think it's adorable and cute and fun. So um, if you're interested in seeing more of this, definitely do let me know. I had been considering kind of doing like a sticker theme, you know, or, or a sticker series or something like that for my shop, you know, um, you know, featuring different popular breeds of animals. So like Siamese, um, tuxedo cats, um, chihuahuas, um, yellow labs, things like that, you know, that, you know, might uh, appeal to a lot of people. So I might, I don't know, <laughs> let me know if you're interested in that at all. Um, but yeah, this was just a great fun project and I really, really liked working on it. I'm very happy that the lady that received the artwork was happy with it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think I've rambled on a little bit much already, but if you are interested in seeing more of this, do let me know in the comments down below. Um, I really am so happy to have talked with you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you again later. <laughs> Bye!